Ciao, tutti, benvenuti. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen for another episode of Lunch with John. Today, we're going to Rome. And I'm doing a classic uh, dish that the Romans love. And we're also going to use a classic cooking method. So I guess it's a double classic show. We'll see how it turns out. So uh, chicken Roman style is a pretty simple dish. And this uh, insaporire is to build flavor. So what you do in this, uh, in this recipe is we're going to cook each of the main ingredients separately. So let me show you what we got. Uh, I've got some boneless chicken breast here. I already cut it up so that I didn't have to disinfect the work uh, surface again. And we're going to cook that with some olive oil. So that's the first ingredient that we're going to cook separately and bring it up to the height of its flavor. And then we're going to cook some uh, yellow and red bell peppers. Uh, I've got some, some pro, prosciutto here and some fresh oregano. So we're going to use that in the second preparation of the, uh, of the peppers. So I forgot to mention over there, when we do the chicken, of course, I got to do a bob boom on the, on the garlic. Okay, so I'm going to cook the chicken. I'm going to take it out. Then we're going to cook the bell peppers. And then we're going to add uh, the prosciutto and the oregano. We're going to deglaze with some white wine. And then we're going to finish the sauce with San Marzano tomatoes. Okay, got that? Two separate preparations. And then we combine them so they bring their full flavor together and merge in the sauce. Very easy. You should be uh, stove the table in maybe about 30 minutes. Let's get going. I'll turn the pan on. I want to get some good heat. There we go. I'm going to give the uh, chicken salt and pepper. On the one side is good enough, the one that I'm going to put down in the oil. And freshly ground black pepper. Make sure I give some to each one of these pieces. And then, of course, I got to do a little ba-boom action on this garlic. Ba-boom. Nice. Paper comes off. And so, you know, I'd like to bring actually the oil and the garlic up to temperature together. So there's the oil. And then goes the garlic. We'll let that uh, pick up a little color. And when the oil's sizzling, we'll add the chicken. So, you know, a lot of times I like to infuse the olive oil with the garlic. And sometimes I'll just bring it down this way. Oops, a little piece of paper stuck in here. Let's get rid of that. Into my compost pail. Okay, so I'm hearing a little bit of a sizzle. So I think we might be getting close to when I can add the chicken. I add a little extra olive oil in this pan um, because it's a big pan and I wanna make sure there's enough oil so that the um, chicken doesn't stick. Okay, so I cut the breast in about four four or five pieces and then adjust it to make sure they're all about the same size. Let's see if the oil's hot enough. There's a nice sizzle. Perfect. So on this method, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I'm getting a little smoke. I don't want that. Using this method, I'm going to pretty much fully cook the chicken 
in the olive oil. You may see some recipes where they don't fully cook the chicken and then move this around a little bit and then I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, they don't fully cook the chicken and then they let it kind of stew in, uh, in the tomato sauce. I don't like that. So I ain't doing it that way. I already got a nice crust on this, pretty fully cooked. And then when we add it back into the sauce, it just has to heat back up. Did I tell you, there are a lot of Romans who believe, I'm going to go down a little bit on the heat here, uh, that, that believe this is better, to, this dish is better the second day. So they make it a day ahead. They put it in the refrigerator. When their company comes or their family comes, they can enjoy each other because everything's already cooked and you just got to heat it up. And you'll see in my recipe, a lot of times they'll serve it with polenta, or with rice, or with flat pasta like a fettuccine, so you have something that's going to soak, uh, soak up all the sauce, because the tomato sauce is delicious. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that. Let me move some of this out of the way, because we've got to deal with the peppers. And I want to make sure I'm not cross-contaminating anything. So I'm going to use this one to cook, and then I'm going to use the other one after the chicken's fully cooked. Just checking these. Looking good. Okay, I ain't going to bother them. Just want to make sure they got oil around them. Tip the pan, evenly distribute the olive oil. And let those finish cooking. Okay, so we got a yellow and we got a red. So I'm just going to cut these in half and get rid of this core and hopefully most of the seeds will come with it. Tap that out, put that over here. Same thing with this one. Take that core out and the seeds come. There's a couple in there. And then we're just going to, we're just going to um, cut these into about one inch strips. I don't like that piece, and I don't like the bottom, so we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to cut it this way, because this pith, I don't like it, so I try to get rid of it. There's another C in this pith I'm just going to cut off. And we got our strip. There's another one i got to get rid of this pith. And a seed. And here we go. So this is about half uh, the full recipe. Um, usually I make a smaller portion because it's just for me. But um, I'm doing this full portion and I'm going to share. If it comes out good, if it don't come out good, it ain't going nowhere. But if it comes out good, I'm going to give... Uh, most of it to a friend of mine who lives a couple of blocks away from me. She'll enjoy it, but she ain't getting it unless I make sure it came out good. We'll see. Okay, our yellow pepper, I'm almost done with it. Beautiful. These are nice, fresh. I just got these this morning in the mark. Okay, that's our yellow one. Let me take a break over here and see how we're doing with the chicken. Remind me, I'm using the one with the black tips over here. Nice. So I got a nice uh, golden color on the first side. So I'm going to turn them over and let them finish cooking on the second side. And then we'll take them out. And the garlic looks like it's, uh, it's done its job, starting to get a little too dark, so I'm going to take it out. Okay, those two pieces don't want to move, so I'm going to leave them alone. Let me get rid of the garlic. It's already infused the oil, and that's all we needed it for. It's a minor player in this dish. Okay. 
check this one real quick. Nope. Still sticking? Leave it alone. Let me deal with the uh, the red pepper now. Uh, seeds. My nudge. Okay. Here we go. Another nice one. Let me take the core out. Tap out the seeds. Same thing on this side. It's an easy recipe, guys. We're going to get done with this in a couple of minutes. And then we're going to move on to the second star of the dish, the peppers, and cook that separately also. Get rid of this pith. I don't know. You can leave the pith in you, you if you want to. I just don't like it. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the texture. So I get rid of it. You know, buy the best of the best, use the best of the best, and you're going to end up a uh, pretty good chance of making a good dish. I'm going to stop after this one and go check those other two pieces and see if they're ready to turn over. So I'm excited. I'm uh, starting to make plans to travel again. The last trip I took was to my niece's wedding in the Jersey family in uh, November 2019. So I'm really anxious. All things uh, falling the right way to be able to go back to the East Coast, see my friends and family in Jersey and uh, friends in Rhode Island end up in Cape Cod and Provincetown. And then we're really ambitious. We're making tentative plans if they let us in, because right now it's closed, um, to go to Italy. And I'm flying into Rome. So maybe I'll have to have this dish, unless I've made it too many times. I'm tired of it over here. Okay, I said I wanted to check this other piece of chicken. There we go. You got a nice crust on it. And then as soon as I get a crust on the bottom side, and I can touch it to see it's done this. It needs a little bit more time. So let me finish up with these peppers so we're ready when they're, they got to go in. So again, just slice it like this, maybe two inches long, an inch wide. So there's our peppers. Clean up my mess and we'll be good to go. There we go. Oops, I dropped some stuff on the floor. I'll pick it up later. Last check over here. Let's see how we're doing. Feels like it's cooked. Getting there. The sponginess is gone. And then we'll just remove this from the pan. This one's a little chunky. I'll let that stay in there a little bit longer. Yeah, we got a little bit of time here. So I like this dish because not only is it a classic, not only is it easy, but I like the idea if you want to buy some more time, uh, with your friends and family, you can make it the day before. I notice my camera's slipping a little bit. Excuse me, I'm going to adjust it up a little bit. Hope I don't mess this up. Hey, my producers are going to yell at me. A little bit more. Okay, let's see that. Getting me dizzy. Doing it all by myself. I got to cook. I got to shoot the video. Hey, do the best I can. Okay, I think these are going to be ready to come out. Let me bring the plate over just to, just in case. Okay, this chunky piece I'm going to cook on that side a little bit. And then I'll bring this over so you can see the crust I wanted to get on there. So now... I notice that I got I got to bring the heat back. I'm putting this one back in for a second, and I'm going to increase the heat just so I can get a nice, a nice little golden crust on this second side. But so we're starting to develop some nice fond on the bottom, 
and we'll uh, scoop that up a little bit later. Okay. What else can I do? Oh, let's take care of the oregano and the prosciutto that we're going to add. So just going to roll this up. See, I got to keep myself occupied or else I'm going to be over there playing with the chicken that I shouldn't do. So just slice this and then I'm going to give it a rough chop. This is going to add a really nice flavor note. These uh, pieces of prosciutto are going to get crisp, have a nutty flavor, and you're going to really enjoy them. If you get one of a uh, piece of the prosciutto as you're eating the chicken and the peppers, it's really a nice addition. This probably can use another chop. So let me go through here one more time. Okay, and I hear that sizzle over there. And I'll come back and then we're going to do the oregano, the herb in this, in this dish. Okay, let me see what I got. Beautiful. Yeah, see that one needs a little bit more heat. This one's done. See, I can see the sponginess of it to know whether it's done or not. So I'm taking my time. Let me see if I can come up with a story or something. Eh, too much talking. These are almost done. So I don't want to lose track of this. Nice. Okay. See, I, I told you I was supposed to use this one, but that's pretty much fully cooked. So I'm not worried about contamination. Let me... um. Move this out of the way. Move the prosciutto out of the way. And let's get some of these uh, organic oregano. I love this stuff. I love it dry. I love it fresh. And you know, the dry one that I get is uh, wild oregano from Sicily. And uh, it's, it comes on, on the branch. But every once in a while, like with this recipe, it calls for using fresh oregano. So you got to usually, I find that you got to use a little bit more with the fresh than you would with the dry. So I got a fairly good amount here, but I like this flavor. So I may be going a little overboard. So be it. It's my recipe. I can do what I want with it. Okay, one more piece, and we'll be easy, and we'll just strip this this down. Okay, let me chop this up, and then I'm getting that chicken out of there, and we're starting on the second star. It's a poetia day to develop its flavor to the utmost, separately from the chicken, and then we'll have a marriage later. Think an old lope. Probably gonna have a marriage later. Okay, I don't know what that's got. A lope in. That's done. This is done. This is done. I'm gonna let this one go just a little bit more. So because this, uh, you know, I'm, I'm uh, varying from the recipe. Um, because I put more oil in this large pan here, I'm not going to add oil when I cook the peppers. So I'm just going to put them in. But we're going to need a baboon, so let me make some room over here because I want to add a little bit more of uh, infused garlic. It's getting crowded on my board. Paper comes off. Beautiful. So I'll get this going in here. And this chicken's coming out. Okay. So let this garlic toast just a little bit. Now, 
we're going to put in the prosciutto and let this start to crisp up before I add the peppers. I don't want to lose any. Okay, now I can go to this one. Because the chicken's cooked. No problem with contamination. And we just want to give the prosciutto a, a head start here to start crisping up. And then I'm going to add all of the peppers. And these will be pretty quick to cook. And if I see that uh, the pan's getting a little too hot, I'll, uh, I may add some water, but I don't think it's going to need it here because we're going to lose some moisture out of the peppers and it's going to start picking up that fond. Beautiful. Okay, again, I don't want to be anxious. Scoop that prosciutto up. Nice and toasty. And we'll just let these go. You know what? Actually, I'm going to just add a little water to bring down the temp of, um, of the pan. Scoozy, I'll be right back. So if you think uh, things are going to get overcooked, just give it a little water. And that steam is going to help the peppers cook anyway. But again, we want to bring this, the peppers, the second star of the dish, to their ultimate flavor. So I'm increasing the heat now because the water is there. And I, I want that to dissipate so we can move on. Oh, starting to squirt at me. Didn't like it. And I can see that the peppers are starting to soften and that water is helping to cook them. Okay, bring it up to full high and I'm going to keep an eye on it. Okay, while that's going on, I'm going to move this to the side. And I already uh, squeezed some of these San Marzanos. So I'm going to take some more. And we, you want to use the juice in this recipe. So I'm going to get some of it out. Because that's going to help form the, uh, the final sauce. And, Squeeze it. We want this to be a little on the rough side. I like to take that stem piece out and squeeze it. These are beautiful. These are the DOP tomatoes from the area south of Naples going towards Salerno. Whoop. There's a stem. I don't like it. A few more of these. See how easy it is? See how they're nice they break? Not too many seeds. They're very meaty. Again, use the best ingredients and you're a long way to making a, a good dish. Those stems I don't like. A lot of people cook with them. I don't like to. A few more and we'll be done. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that juice. Again, this is about half of the recipe that's posted. That full recipe using two pounds of chicken. I only got about a pound over here. Um, is good for uh, four to six people. And again, you can make the night before and enjoy your company without the burden of cooking. Here's that last stem. Okay, let me clean my hands. Of course, it looks like the peppers are done. Let's give them a look here. Yeah, nice. Flames coming down. Peppers are uh, soft. Prosciutto looks good. The water's gone. I 
Okay, I think we're doing a good job here. So let me get add a little bit more of this juice because we want uh, we want a pretty abundant manner of the sauce, especially if you're going to use it uh, with polenta or rice or fettuccine. You want some sauce to be picked up by your other thing on the plate with this classic chicken and peppers Roman style. We're good to go. So I'm going to put the oregano in just so it can toast just a little bit. Move that around. My sizzle still, ooh, the aroma here, the prosciutto, but mostly the uh, sweet aroma of the, of the peppers. Very nice. Got a hot spot on one side of the pan over here. Okay, these will finish cooking. White wine. Before I put the tomatoes in, oh, I want to uh, deglaze the pan. But I didn't put salt and pepper in for the peppers, which I want to do right now. Wow, that oregano. Let me get these in. Stand back when you're adding uh, liquid to hot oil. Oh my God. And we're going to put the chicken back in. Did I deglaze? No. Okay. So I'm going to add the wine now. I'm going to turn the heat back up to high. That wine's going to add a nice flavor note. And we have the tomatoes that helped us deglaze. So even though they went in a different order that I was thinking about, no big deal. Look at this. Now the chicken and any juices back in. Bring a clean back, clean plate back. When we plate this up. Okay. So I'm just nestling the chicken in. And that's going to warm up if it needed some final cooking. But because it's in this sauce, it's not going to dry out. And I still have a lot of that tomato water. I'm going to try to uh, dissipate that. So I put the pan back up to, uh, to a high. And my camera's sinking over there again. What are you going to do? Nice. This is evaporating. And we want this sauce to thicken. And then we're going to plate it up and we're going to eat. So I'm only, almost getting to the point where I could cut through the pan. There's still a fair amount of liquid. And my flame's on high. So I'm just going to be patient. Okay, while that's happening... People have been asking about uh, stuff that's in my pantry. Let me get rid of this dish. <clears throat> so this is a bottle of olive oil. Hey, I got to fix this camera again. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry to my producers. I'm going to get yelled at. It's okay. I'm a tough guy. What was I talking about? Who the hell knows? Oh, so I use this old uh, olive oil uh, container to store the olive oil they're going to use when I cook it. It stays in my cabinet. Even though this is clear, it's not getting any sunlight. Hold on a second. I want to give this a stir because I think we're getting close. Yeah, I'm starting to be able to cut through. It's going to be another minute or so, and then we're going to be good to go. See, and the chicken's going to stay moist because it's in this uh, sauce. 
and I had a nice golden crust and I'm noticing on some of these pieces still does even though it's been simmering in the sauce okay so back to the olive oil so people have been asking show me what you got in your pantry let me come on the other side this is one of my favorite uh, everyday um, olive oils this is from sicily this is uh last november's press and i'm able to get it down at Palmieri Deli. It cost me about, I think, $32 for this big can that is uh, three quarts, five ounces. So pretty good amount. This will last me a month or two, and then I'll go get another one. So what I do is just put it in there. But Partana, it's good. I know you can get it online, Amazon, and other places. And I think there it's about $38. Love it. And always... I always can buy it when the first shipment comes after the no, November press. Okay, we're close here. I think the answer is yes. Nice. <laughs> we're going to eat. Oh, I can't wait to be back in Rome. Actually, I'm going to be there with a bunch of friends, Americans and Italians. And one of my traditions is um, on my birthday, instead of having people give me gifts, I host a lunch. So I already got eight people confirmed for a table at one of our favorite restaurants. And the weather still should be nice, so we can eat al fresco. And if things are safe enough, if it's raining, maybe we can eat inside. But I'll be happy for a nice uh, Roman meal al fresco okay guys i think we're done by the time i go get a spoon to pull some of this out it should be ready see i thought i put the spoon out already i don't see it here we go got one Give this one more look. Yes, we're about 30 seconds away. I don't know if you can see it, but I can cut through the sauce. That's what I was looking for. So most of that water, the wine, has, in, has evaporated. And the wine, of course, has left that flavor note behind. Okay. I think we're good, guys. You shut this off. Let me get some on this plate so you can see the goodness. I'm going to put the chicken down first. Mm. Too bad we don't have smell of vision. The aromas coming out of here are just amazing. The peppers, the oregano. This chicken's in very good company. And I like this method of doing the two stars of the dish, cooking them separately. Oh, this is looking good. These peppers are beautiful. Nice color. One more piece of chicken. Get in there. Okay. Put some of the sauce on top. <laughs> I'm excited. Look at this goodness. Oh, I think my friend's going to get dinner. She'll either come up here and get it, or I'll, if I'm really feeling in a good mood and I want to get some exercise, I'll bring it to her. Hmm. Okay. Last two red peppers. <laughs> okay. Let me make these look pretty. So you can see the chicken also. Okay. 
today. And just uh, uncovering some of the chicken here so you can see that also. And I'm going to come close. I'm happy. It tastes as good as it smells. What do you think? Ooh, steamy. So bring the chicken to, separately to bring it to ultimate flavor, the same thing with the peppers. And then you marry it back in with some white wine and tomatoes, oregano. And I'm going to make sure when I get something to taste, I want some of those little uh, prosciutto bits. Crispy, salty, a nice note with the sweet peppers and tender chicken. Hold on. Got my plate over there. See if I can reach it. Move this stuff out of the way. My San Pellegrino. Okay, I'm only going to take a couple pieces. I told you, I'm going to give this as a gift. Get some of the peppers. Get some of the sauce. Oh, I see the prosciutto's kind of sticking around, poking out from the peppers. Okay. Uh, I think I'm only going to eat two pieces. Because I think I only had about five, five or six. But there's plenty of sauce, so I'm taking more of that, the oregano and the, and the prosciutto. Okay. Now it's going to be hot, so I got to be careful. Oh, I didn't get no yellow pepper. Here's one. Here's two with a little oregano and crispy prosciutto. Okay, let's go right here. Chicken's cool. It's cooked through. Want a little bit of pepper with it. I see I got some uh, prosciutto bits, a little bit of the oregano. <clears throat> it's amazing. The chicken's still moist. Deep flavor of the tomatoes and oregano. The sweetness of the peppers. Ah, I just got a little piece of that crunchy, salty, nutty prosciutto. Very nice flavor note. Okay, guys. See you next time. Make this dish. You're going to love it. A classic from Rome. Chicken, bell peppers, Roman style. Yay! Ciao.